Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to do something completely different as usual. It's alternative photography, the lit process. Not to be confused with lit printing, this is a specific darkroom process using a specific developer. And now I had a chance over the Christmas break to play with this and have some fun. I am no expert, but I just want to share what I've discovered using these old papers. I hope it's interesting. You'll certainly learn about different papers from the 60s all the way into the 90s that were available throughout Europe. So let's begin. Today I'm going to have a look at these papers that I have. These are quite old papers, some of these. For example, this Agfa Record Rapid. This is a double weighted paper, which means it's a fiber based paper. Uh, that I guess is somewhere in the 60s or 70s. And over here we have a Telco paper, uh, which is from Switzerland. From the old Seba factory before Ilford took it over. I think it was closed in the 90s that factory. That's a very interesting paper. It's also fiber based as well. And another one here called Kundl from Berlin. And this is also double weighted, meaning it's fiber based. And of course, I've got some expired Ilford paper here, which is an RC paper. Uh, and then another, I believe this is also an RC paper. It's a kind of a, yes, this is an RC paper as well. Uh, I've been playing around with this one as well. These are all expired papers and I want to see if they're gonna work with lith. Uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about these papers as well because they're really good. Um, some of them go all the way back to the 60s. Uh, this one here, the uh, Arvo, um, this is from East Germany, former East Germany. And Forte, this is also a fiber-based paper from over the border in Hungary. Um, so I'm not actually sure if these are lit, litable. The chemicals I'm using are very simple. It's the Easy Lit kit. And according to this, using a drop of the Lit B on a bit of these papers, uh, will tell me if they are suitable for a lit. Now, of course, this RC one from Ilford is probably not. I've had really nice results with these two papers here, the one from Berlin um, on, on the left and the Telco on the right from Switzerland. Uh, they, they turned out pretty well. Uh, I haven't tried these two here are the Forte, but I believe the Forte could be lithable as well. And also this fiber-based paper, the Record, and not the Bro Brovia. The Brovia is a RC paper, a resin-based paper. So that is my lot of papers that I'm going to test. I'm going to take a small strip from each of these. I'm going to cut them, I'm going to number them, and I'm going to test whether they're litable, if I can use them with the lit process. Uh, it's a very simple experiment. I want to actually play around with the lit process. Um, it's not, it's something I'm learning, I'm starting, I'm absolutely no expert on it, but I've managed to uh, get myself all these papers in job lot, in a job lot. Um, I got them basically on a secondhand website that come up and yeah, they still work all very well for black and white uh, development. They're all graded papers. There is no variable contrast paper in here. No multi-grade stuff at all. Um, this one was in fairly bad condition, the Kundal, but actually produces beautiful results. And the Telco apps is incredibly gorgeous uh, tonality. Um, this one was extraordinarily slow. This was, I needed to add four stops to it. Now, I don't know why that is, it's really strange, uh, but it worked. I had a few goes and it took me a while. This is also also working quite well. Uh, it's not as contrasty as it should be, but it's probably due to his age and the storage. The Forte papers, uh, this one is really in good condition and produces also wonderful results. So even if you're not doing lid process, these papers, if you can get it, if you can get your hands on some of these, they're great to work with and to play with. Even if you're a beginner in the darkroom, they produce really good results. Also, any old Ilford expired paper 
uh, should work pretty well. I guess this one's either from the mid 80s, this one. Um, all this stuff is that's 60s, uh, that could be 80s, that's definitely somewhere 60s, 70s. Um, this is uh, 80s, I know that. Uh, that's ooh, probably early 80s. That's not that old. That could be in the, actually could be in the 2000s or, or, or very late 90s. So let's get started. So I cut a piece of paper of each of these and I tested with the part B of the chemistry to see if any reaction, if I get a black dot, supposedly it's not litable. It's not a conclusive test, but it is a way of testing paper. So I don't really have an update. Everything didn't react. There's no black dots. There seems to be all okay. Um, oh. So supposedly all those papers can be used in lit process. Now I doubt that very much. Uh, it's just, there's certainly the um, Ilford one here. I wouldn't think so. Um, my best guess would be the Agfa probably works because this, this or, um, rapid record paper should work. The Forte, I uh, heard rumors of this one working pretty well. No idea about this. Uh, the Telco is so old and this is so old. So they possibly should do something. And I did get results out of this. Uh, I have some. I have an image from my first lit. I'll put that up, and another one from this as well. Now I don't know if they're real lits. They could be just semi lits, or um, because the I didn't really see infectious development, and that's what we're going to see uh, with all these papers, which I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to certainly try again with these two because I want to see if I can get it to go. Uh, a bit more grainy or uh, you know darker blacks in these papers uh, especially these two because I've been working with those two quite a bit um, I kind of use this one because I've got about a hundred sheets of this stuff and I thought well what else can I do with it uh, it's in pretty bad order um, but it produces beautiful prints so I said well why not use it the Forte I have very little of that um, that is a lovely paper if you get your hands on Forte stuff and of course, Agfa uh, Record Rapid is also wonderful paper. This cal uh, Telco, um, I was really impressed by the tones of this paper. It was kept in such good condition. I have about two, diff two, two packs, uh, two or three packs of that stuff in different uh, gray, uh, I think a soft and a hard, so different grades. Um, uh, the Lava Shot stuff, I have different versions of that. Um, don't know enough about that to be honest. So let's see if I can get something to produce a lit. So I did my strip tests and here are basically, you don't need to be exact, but you know, close enough. Uh, and it's definitely for the first one, that's going to be 96 seconds for plus, plus two stops for a lit print. And the second one requires quite a lot more time, 190, 92 seconds. Ilford, well, the RC, I don't think that will lit, so I'm not gonna even bother with that. The the Labafote, uh, also 192 seconds. And the Orvo, um, this will be 96 seconds. And the Forte, 96. Uh, number seven, what happened to number seven? I don't have that on my list. Let's have a look. So number seven, ten, it's going to be 96 seconds as well. That came out quite nice. Um, so I'm going to try and make a lit out at least two to six papers from this list and see what will happen. I'm going to use the same negative. Um, I haven't decided what kind of uh, development I'm going to do. I could just split the print, the larger prints into four pieces uh, to see how the exposure goes. We shall see. Uh, I'm just trying to get an idea how the process works. You can see here my strip tests. I did 
24 seconds, 20, 18 on the longer strips and then on the shorter strips, strips that I had was 24, 16 or 24, 20, 16. Yeah, because I know it's in around there somewhere and I just wanted to make sure, but I do know that um, the Telco and the lab, the Labafot, they require more light. I do not know why. This is a very strange uh, box, uh, box of paper I have, but it seems to work. Um, it could be slightly fogged because um, I, uh, I usually take from the middle of that pile. These are very old papers that I'm using, um, but they they all kind of respond pretty well. This is all at f8 on my enlarger, my Magnifex four. So here are my results. Uh, this is the uh, the Kundu Weich paper, the one from Berlin, the first one. The Telco paper. Uh, we skipped the Ilford one because I don't think that will work. The Laba Fot AS310 PE, uh, and this one's very different altogether. This is the Orve or the Orvo. Uh, which I knew, which I heard rumors that this works pretty well. Uh, and also the last one here is the Aqua. The Forte got all messed up, so I ended up uh, skipping that one. But overall, we've got quite an unusual array of, <laughs> of images here. Ah, uh, let's go through them anyway. Um, they it took various amount of time. This one took about 30 minutes. This is our first one, the, the Kendall, uh, the Kundal uh, the, from Berlin. Uh, very nice. Uh, they are still changing color as they dry down a bit. They did have some fix down as well, or fix up, or whatever they call it, where it goes into the fixer, and I could see that it was changing. Uh, but this is a kind of a... Uh, yeah, look at look at the. You can see here where it's getting grainy in, in there. That's definitely definitely a lit. Also, you can see the grain over here in this one. Uh, very beautiful. I'm especially surprised by the how cold this one is uh, compared to the rest of them all. So very different coloring and and feel. Uh, now they were all developed in the same temperature um, Just to go through the, the one here the Swiss one that the telco that took about 15 minutes to actually show it show itself like completely before it actually took it out um, I didn't really want to go very f much further because you can see how dark here is it's got really really dark uh, so there's really deep blacks here, so I'm really happy about that uh, also over here and you can see uh, compared to here and here, I'm not too sure what happened here. Maybe that was just under the enlarger. But absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Um, but, uh, what I'd like to try and do is to heat up the up the solution because I reckon it's about, I don't know, 12 degrees, the, 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 the developer. Look at the detail and the color and the tonality. Um, very unusual. Um, it's become kind of slightly soft here, but that and glowy over here, but not so much over there. That, I mean, that's to do with the, how long you leave it under the enlarger, how much you want on your on the highlights part, uh, and the blacks are basically how long we develop it. And I mean, I developed this for a long time. Uh, and this one, actually. I think this one's about... Uh, this took a quite a long time. Let me just have a look at my notes again. Uh, just have a look. Yeah, number four. And number four was the lab, lab shot, which actually the lab shot is this one over here. That took 70 minutes to develop. This guy came out quite quickly, actually. That cold tone one. I think that probably somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. I didn't, I timed the first three, but I didn't time this guy. But uh, I could see this one coming together quite nice. And I've got that 
that paper in much larger format so I'm looking forward to doing some work with this paper uh, the Agfa record also very beautiful um, I'm gonna it's gonna be interesting to see what they look like when I when they dry down so this one is been going for quite some not some time um, how long is this going? This is going for a good 70 minutes. Um, don't know if I got the development even, but as you can see, the blacks are really black here. Uh, there is no highlights at all, very little. Uh, I don't see how far I can go with this. Uh, this is on the Forte paper. I kind of messed up before, uh, when I was doing my sample, so I said I'll have another crack at it. And it's certainly definitely litable. It's, uh, we'll see how the results are and what color we get. Um, I'm just letting that go ahead. While over on the other tray here, I have a landscape, but uh, it's, it's very faint at the moment. I reckon that's gonna take 20 minutes. Now I'm at the end of the, um, the, the lit developer. So I'm not gonna get much more out of this. I think I'm gonna call it a day after these two are done. Uh, I don't think there's much left in the chemicals. I could replenish, but I'm not uh, going to do that. I've had a long session testing all of the uh, uh, the papers, and it's been fun actually, and very so very uh, successful. Uh, let's see if we can. I don't know if you can see that, but there is over here. There is some obviously some stems coming across this guy over here I'm missing a bit here I don't know if that's just because I didn't aggregate enough or I'm not too sure wait till we'll see what comes out but it's definitely getting a little bit more um, grainy here and here in the corners thank you for watching the video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've got a kick out of it I've been so excited to actually to play around with this process I'm going to continue playing with this uh, I'm no expert as I said I'm sure I've said some things that are not quite correct but please do leave some your thoughts and your experiences with lith and what you think about what I've said and my images uh, I'd love to have your feedback and please give me a thumbs up and promote this video by sharing with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.